We just finished going over how to log into your student portal. Now it's time to jump into your classes. So to do that, click on the Online Curriculum Connect up here at the top on the left-hand side. It's going to display several options for you. Middle school students are going to be using Odysseyware, so they're only going to click into Odysseyware to get to their classes. And look for that red circle with the blue W on it. From there, it's going to sign you into Odysseyware. You'll see that it says CalPAC up at the top, and it should say your name over here in the top right corner. When you first sign in, you're going to see this video. This is an orientation video uh, that goes over some of the features of Odysseyware. We're going to go over most of those features in this video. However, if you want to take a look at it, feel free. Just keep in mind that some of the features, like emailing your teacher right through the system, do not work with CalPAC. If you do not want to see this video in the future, you can check the blue check right here to take it off. And just to point out some other features on this page, you have the FAQ page and resources to help you with navigating Odysseyware. You'll also see that there's a support number here. This is for Odysseyware technical support for any issues dealing with your classes. Like if a video doesn't play, you can't access the content, anything like that. However, before you call this number, let your homeroom teacher know first so that they can help you figure out the best way to solve your problem. Okay, let's jump into those classes. To access your classes, click on the light bulb here where it says learn, and you'll see that you're brought to a page with your assignments and all of your courses. So you'll see you have all your classes listed over here, and you have some different icons. The first thing to look at is the due date. This is when you should have the assignment finished. Make sure you're paying careful attention to these due dates so that you don't fall behind on your classes. Next to that, you'll see that there's different colors. This P stands for project. You also see that we have a lesson icon. If it's an orange box with a Q, that means a quiz, or a red box with a T, that means a test. Normally, you only see lessons up here. Uh, you have to do lessons in order. And you can't jump around. The only exception are projects. Projects are given to you a bit early so that you can get started on those ahead of time. Now, you might not be able to do some of the projects without doing the lesson first, so don't get too far ahead uh, so that you have all the information you need to do that project successfully. You will see next to that a score. So as soon as you do the assignment, the score will pop up here as well as the status. And to open up any of these assignments, just click right on it anywhere in this box, and that will take you to it, or you can click this little black arrow. But before we jump into how an assignment works, let's take a look at how you check your grades in progress. To do that, click over to Courses, and from here, you will see your grades, progress, and pacing. So the first thing is, is look at the course name. So I'm looking at Language Arts here. You'll see that most of this is blank for right now uh, because we haven't started the class yet. We need to get started in the class and then this information will fill in. So don't worry if it's blank to begin with. It will soon fill in the more assignments you do. Um, just looking through here to go over a couple of things, you see, we'll see there's two grades. There's your current score, which is all the assignments you've done so far. So these are all the assignments that you've done to date. It doesn't include anything you're behind on. Next to that, you have your score to date. This score adds a zero for anything that you're behind on. And this is the score that will end up on your report card at the end of the semester. Next to that is your progress bar. This will go up as soon as you complete assignments. And again, you're looking to get towards 100% by the end of the semester. So you want your scores to be 60% or higher and your progress to, of course, be 100% by the end of the semester. Next to that, you have pacing. And this one here in the green means I'm ahead. I've done one assignment already, but it's still early. I did it before the due date, so I'm ahead right now. So I have that ahead icon, which is great. You don't want to get too far ahead. So right now I'm one assignment ahead, maybe a maximum of five assignments ahead at a time, but really try not to get much further ahead than that. Underneath there, you'll see that you have your start date. 
and the last day you completed work in the class. So let's say you haven't done math since Monday. Your date's going to show up as your completion date as Monday, even though it might be Friday when you're looking at this progress report. Next to that, you have assignments remaining. And this shows you how many assignments you have left to complete in the class. And then days remaining in the semester. How many days do you have left in the semester? And then how many assignments per day did you do? Or should you be doing to stay on track? If we scroll down here and look at math again, you'll see that there's a gray circle with a check in it. And this says on track. We want all students to have a gray circle that says on track. So make sure when you're doing your grade, checking your grades and doing your schoolwork each day, that you're completing everything by the due date so that you always show as on track in this section. If you wanna look at how you're doing on individual units and assignments, go ahead and click this arrow here. And it will list all the units for the semester, you can see, did I complete this unit? What was my average score on that unit? And when did I start it? So that's units, and if you wanna see individual assignments, click the arrow again, and you'll see individual scores here. So the syllabus, I submitted it on 825. It hasn't been graded yet by my teacher. Once it's graded by the teacher, the grade date will show up here. I can see the score and I can see if I've completed it or not. And you can go through there to access your assignments and see how you are doing in the class. To go back, you just use these back black arrows up at the top, and that will take you back to the landing page here. So that's how you're gonna track your progress and pacing. Make sure that you're doing this every time you log in and do your schoolwork. And again, we want to see these gray circles with the white check that shows you're on pace. And if you have any questions about your grades or progress, feel free to contact your homeroom teacher for help. Let's jump in now to your assignments themselves. So go back to this assignment tab and we can click right into a lesson. So we're gonna click on this Math 7 syllabus. And you'll see that it opens up the assignment for you. Now there's a how-to over here that tells you about the information. You can see anything you need on how to do the lesson right here on the how-to guide. You have some text that you might need to read. There might be a video that shows up here. All of the lesson content is available first, so you're going to want to review that. You do have the option to print. You can look at references, you can translate, and you can do text-to-speech. If you want to do text-to-speech, you just highlight the text and click on the Speak As icon. Another really nice feature is if you wanna take notes. Let's say you wanna take notes and you're ready for that quiz. Click anywhere on the left side margin and you can add a note. You can color code your notes, uh, whatever you might wanna put there and hit save when you're done. And now you always have access to this. With my notes, you can click on it again to edit it, whatever you might need. And if I wanna go and print my notes, I have several choices here. I can print the assignment, I can print all notes, so if the teacher left me a note, or I can print just my notes. And this is really handy, uh, not just to print out for yourself, but to open it up and have it next to you while you do the assignment. So let's say you're on a quiz and you wanna use your notes, you can have this window open next to your Odysseyware window as you're doing the quiz. Okay. So that's how you navigate through the lesson material. You're gonna read all of this information, scroll down, and when you get to the bottom, you're gonna to wanna to work on the questions. So click on work on questions, and you'll see now you have several questions at the top here. Uh, you will just simply choose, fill in the information, go to the next question, see that you have your assignment questions here. And all you're gonna do is follow the directions up here. What does it say to do? And if you're copying and pasting, just highlight the text. Command or Control C, and then Command or Control V to paste it in there and fill in the blanks. You're gonna hit Next Question. Repeat the same process. Again, whatever it's asking you to do, sometimes it's multiple choice, sometimes it's 
short response like this. So go through, fill in the information that you need to. And when you get to the very end, it's gonna show you a submit answer. And it's gonna ask you again, do you really wanna submit it? Make sure to hit yes, please, to turn in your assignment. And if you ever need help, just let your teacher know. So hit yes, please. And you can see here, if it has questions on there that need to be graded by your teacher, it's gonna show a box that looks like this. Your essay answers will be graded by your teacher. You need to wait until it's graded. Now, you have two options here. You can go back to your assignment list that lists all of your classes, or you can keep going on to the next activity in this class. So choose your option, move on, and you're ready to continue in the class. And that's it for navigating Odysseyware. So again, make sure to check those grades in progress first, and then jump into those lessons and get the assignments done. Read everything carefully. There's a good chunk of reading and a good chunk of videos to watch. So make sure you're doing both. You're trying your best on those questions. And if you ever need any help, contact your teacher.